Hi guys, my name is Alex Kraski. I am a Las Vegas artist and you can see my art on uh, kraskiart.com, www.kraskiart.com. Today I have my friend Alex Yuzhakov uh, who will show you how to paint in oil and he does the C in oil. So basically what he's trying to do now, uh, he will teach you how to do this kind of paintings without any kind of experience, without any kind of professional experience as an artist. You can be a you know, housewife, you can be a construction worker, you can be uh, somebody who, you know, who never even did art before. But after classes that uh, Sasha will show you, you will be able to draw the art like he does and basically it's very fast and very professional. And guys, let me tell you something. This is first time, first time in my life when I start drawing with oil sea, the sea and the ocean, you know, and the storm because never before I did it in my entire life um, mostly I did portraits, collages, uh, I did uh, a lot of paintings but uh, I did animals and anything else but the sea so today guys this is my first brush stroke And let me tell you something, it's really, really easy. The way he showed me how to do it, you know, now it's like I'm cleaning the canvas from the oil. I don't even use the oil. All I do, I just wipe the brush and I kind of, you know, wipe the foam from the sea. So hopefully guys, after what you see today, you will be able to do the same thing that I am doing. Because like I say, I don't have any experience in painting the sea. And today we will talk about it and I will show, he will show you how to do it. Enjoy. And now I want to introduce you my best friend and I think it's one of the best artists here in Crimea. His name is Alexander Yuzhakov and here's the guy who will show you these classes. He will show you how to draw the sea. And I think after graduating his classes, you will be able to do it without anybody's help. Here he is. Here is cadmium red light. Here is cadmium yellow light. Uh, the other one is uh, turquoise blue. The other one is cobalt blue medium. This one is titanium white. Usually we use titanium white. This is the best. Uh, here we can see cobalt cobalt violet deep and the last one is a uh, centium blue I'm not sure you know about pronunciation because I cannot really see it very well but anyway you can use your own oils you you can use your own colors it doesn't really matter use uh, all kind of blue and we, we will try to show you how to do it to start watch carefully Now, the most important thing for us is to completely cover the canvas. There must not be any empty place, nothing. The, the canvas should be completely covered with oils. Since we draw in C and it will be storm, it will be a lot of dark colors. So, uh, we can even use blue and roll umber to make it dark. Here he put some white color in there. just the beginning and somebody will think that it's it's almost like nothing and it's weird but we will see later how it becomes the art piece the real art piece the improvisation. my friend just said that this is improvisation so you improvise you basically use any colors you want you don't need to use some particular colors 
because every artist have their own opinion, have their own imagination. So that's why you don't need to completely uh, follow his instructions about colors. You, you can use your own colors. Yeah, the main purpose now is to cover the whole canvas. Okay, guys, and I just wanted to, to let you know that what you see, you see this blue color, the blue color of the sea. This is very important um, because you can use uh, any color for the sky, right? You can mix blue color. But this color is particular for the sea. You use the turquoise blue. Turquoise blue and you mix it with white. So this is the color that you need to use for the sea. He changes the brush. He takes the wider brush and basically what he's gonna do, he's gonna do the smooth movements. Smoothing the whole thing. But don't forget, when you do it, you constantly wipe the brush. He will show it how to do it, okay? So when you do it, you cannot just uh, do this brushing thing without wiping it. You, it's necessarily that you wipe it constantly. Every time you brush one part, you wipe it and then you keep doing it. And you see the whole painting becomes smooth, become very smooth. The colors goes from one to another. It's like you blend in it. You blend the whole painting. And don't hesitate, don't worry. Uh, do the best as best as you can. Like I say, you don't need to be genius to do that. It's very, very simple what he's doing. Very simple. It's not difficult, Every it's just touch. easy movement. Every touch is simple. Now, somewhere behind the line of horizon, there is a line where there is no storm. So that's what you're trying to show to people now. You see? You just put some light color, white color there. And in this way, you kind of separate the horizon from the sky. Okay guys, and now is the most important part, is the transparency of the wave. How are we gonna do it? Uh, our artist is gonna use uh, turquoise blue, turquoise blue, titanium white, titanium white, and cadmium yellow. This is very important. He mixes three colors and he does the weight. This is very, very important part. He does it first with a smaller brush and after that he kind of smoothen it with the bigger brush. See how he does it? Try to follow his steps. The way he does it, the way he brushes it, the way he stroke, he does the strokes. And like uh, he just said that it's so simple. Everybody can do it. Everybody can do what he does now. It's not difficult at all. Okay, now this is a very important part. Uh, the artist does the sky. So the sky, basically he does the white clouds and for that he mix the white and the red, red cadmium, in order to make the color a little bit reddish. You can see how he does it. So he already mixed it, and now he just put it into the can canvas. And he smoothened it. Okay, now our artist is gonna do the ship. And uh, since he's doing the ship, the most important pa part 
do the shape of the ship first and uh, do the shadow which goes to the sea from the ship. So he does it simultaneously. So the sheep and the shadow. The principle. Yeah, and don't forget, uh, Alex just mentioned that uh, it's all improvisation. You use your own imagination also, you use your own colors, and we just showing you the technique how to do it. The, mo the simplest way to do this kind of painting. Okay, now this is very important part too. Uh, we're gonna draw the wave which is lightning. For example, if you if you imagine the pyramid, and uh, imagine that now the light goes through this wave. So now this is the side where the light goes through the wave. So it's the light which comes out of the moon. So the moon lightening up, and now that's what we do. That's where the light goes through the wave. The brightest part. Pretty much the carabao. No, the sticks, I mean all this... Um, what's the name of it? I forgot. Uh, actually, it's a ship. Now she, he's doing ship, and uh, he's shaping it up. He's shaping it up. Let's see how he does that. He used the knife, the pallet light knife, for that. See, it's very, very simple. Very simple. You just put it on the edge, very little and you move it. Sometimes he uses his fingers, which is also very simple. You see the left part is darker, the right part is uh, lighter, because the light, which goes from the moon, goes on the right side. Okay, and he just told me that he doesn't recommend anybody to use pencils, to use sketches, you don't need to. Because the whole thing you're doing is with oil and dissolvents and with brushes and a knife and, you know, you don't need to do the details or sketches or whatever. All you do, just do what he does and uh, watch the way he does it. And like I say, uh, like I said before, uh, he is one of the most amazing artists here that I have ever seen. I mean, he does very good job, and um, he keep mentioning that you don't need to be an expert, you don't need to graduate anything. You just uh, basically use the same technique he uses. You can use your own colors, you can use your own tools. Okay, now Alex took the thin brush and as you can see he is doing the fine work. He's just doing it better, the shape and everything, so now it's the time to do the better job. A 
какой цвет ты используешь вот для корабля? Коричневый с синим. And uh, what he uh, the color that he uses for the ship is uh, raw amber and uh, blue. So he basically he mixes it. And that's how it comes out. He, now he does a little bit brighter colors. It's a red mixed with yellow. So this is a brighter parts also. But again, you can use your own colors. If you think that you want to do it brighter or you want to do it a little bit, I don't know, yellowish, so you just you decide what to mix. It's all your fantasy. So we just keep going. We do this little foam. It's like a web, basically. Web. Now it's still rough job, rough work. So after the rough painting we will do the details like you did before помните мы брали turquoise blue and and blue and yellow so this too you will mix it yeah. with little white ты белого тоже добавляешь немножко да with little white and that's what happens. We do the transparency better. We, we do it stronger. That's how you create the light through the wave, which becomes almost like real. So now you can see Okay, now you can see Transparency He put more transparency into the scene It's a storm and we need to show the wave. Okay, uh, so he just told me that um, in a distance the water, if you go further from the ship, it becomes darker. So the closer it's to you, it's the brighter, it's the lighter. Okay, now as we see he takes the big brush. And he removes the details that he doesn't like. That's basically what he is doing now. And the most important part, as we see, is the center of the picture. So that's where we should be very careful. It's further. It's it's kind of far away, so it's not that white, so you can hardly see it. I mean, you see it anyway. 
But it's not that bright. И даже сейчас можно добавлять прозрачности в волну. And even now we can uh, make the wave more transparent. Даже видно, как корабль просвечивается. Дно корабля просвечивается сквозь Because волну. Because now we can see that the bottom of the ship. И возьми крупный план. You see the bottom of the ship. You can you can see it through the wave. That's very important. You see. Просто вытираем сухой кистью до we almost, белого, we до белого холста. With a, with a dry brush, like we're trying to touch the naked canvas. Вытираем тряпку. And don't forget to wipe the brush with the rug. Okay, now is uh, the most important part that we want to include in our painting. It's American flag. Because basically what I think, the whole painting represents the United States going through the storm. And the ship represent the United States of America. And uh, it's very important that it will survive. The storm doesn't matter. Still the flag is up. Старый потрёбанный. Yeah. The flag should be a, it's almost like an old time flag. Через всё прошедшее там, знаешь, такое. Скажи, что он побитый бурями, но все равно идет. It's already ripped off with, you know, different storms, and it's already, it's kind of really old. You have holes in it and everything, but it's still there. Alexander Yuzhakov, that's the guy who did it. That's one of the best artist I've seen here.